I'm in the lab. I have to take a minute. Because things been coming to my awareness. I know a lot of times it's things that people are interested in and look up and get information on. Whereas I may look up things more pertinent to me and my career than my everyday life. Like the most recent thing is about the health field, sciences, medical, do the math. And I'm reading reports and research and from authenticated and reputable sources, whether you think they are or not. Everybody don't believe in the government, blah, blah, blah. And I understand why black people and brown people don't trust medicine or doctors. And this is why this report, and I might have to put this report out to the general public, to American Medical Association, because this is the thing. It's a report that shows that doctors don't take care of black and brown people like they do others. So in this report, we get less care, less looked after than other people, black people and, you know, brown people, Latinos. And I wonder in that report, is it for those who's paying out of pocket for their medical coverage? Like I pay thousand, thousand, thousand dollars a damn month for medical coverage, dental vision, blah, blah, blah. So you trying to tell me because I'm black or if I was Latino and I'm paying into the pot that I don't get sufficient care like others? Or is it for people on Medicare and Medicaid? Like, oh, they, they're they not really paying into the fund. Even though Medicare, they take it out. Your If you're paying taxes, they take that out and you pay into the fund of Medicare when you retire become 65 because you've been paying into that right all your life that you work and for those who work so they should get the same care black latino brown as others as well in the medical field and they wonder why we don't trust the health field and they're oh they won't come in they don't trust the this they don't know because look y'all not even giving us sufficient care whether we're paying deserving it of it through the you know the act for Medicare and Medicaid so Americans can get health care at a reasonable price. If not, if you disabled or retired, you get that kind of care. So the report was very, very sad to me. And I'm like, I'm not like people who want to come on here and just, OK, this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. And that's all they talk about is the problem. Where's the solution? And I was thinking about this. The only thing I can say is knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And I started thinking about myself with my doctors and providers. And I don't feel like I'm getting less care. Why? Because I'm not going to be ignorant and say that my brothers and sisters, Latino, brown are not getting it. I think maybe with me it's because I'm honest. I'm informative. I'm supportive. Big dumb, duh. I'm going to ask questions. And if it's something I don't agree with, that person is going to have to sit there and tell me and p- politic campaign on why they think and and give me reputable and thought authenticated sources, reports where it backs up what the hell they're saying to me about my care and what should be done. Don't like uh, I come in and cough. Here, take this pill. Take this shot. No. Nah, can I do something other than that? Hey, doc, I read about this. Hey, I saw on CNN or Fox or uh, fake news or whatever. Like I went to the American Medical Association. I went to this and that and I see it's research or they're saying this and that and this. Can you do this test? Can you run this test? Do you think it's this? You have to come in there and make the little brains work, man, and make them show that you know what the hell you're talking about so they have to take care of you accordingly because if they deny something you keep going, you have to go to the next step. Let me go to patient representative. Hey, this doctor won't do this and that, but I feel like I need this. Okay, let's make a formal complaint with the hospital, the clinic. Man, you have to let your voice be heard. That's why I be saying voting is important. Same with anything, man. If you go to a provider or a doctor, they're not taking care of you or you're not up on what's going on. You kind of got to blame yourself. And then the entitled people, 
And this is the last thing I'm going to speak on, untitled people. I'm not putting nobody down. Say you don't work all your life. You've been drinking, doing drugs. I'm not trying to alcohol, drugs, that's a disease. So you have the disease of being an alcoholic. And you're drinking since you've been 16. And then you develop a liver problem. So when you 50, 60, you've been on disability. You've been on Medicaid because you're drunk, can't keep a job. You can't pay for anything. So you get you know, stuff from Medicaid, from the county, from the state from wherever I'm on disability I'm on um, social security SSI and you're getting this all your life right and yeah you pay sales tax and things like that whatever and when you get older and you didn't took care of your body in such a way then your liver all fucked up then you want to go to the doctor now because it's like oh shit these home remedies the the witch doctor down the street and this and that he he ain't trained to take my liver out or whatever you want something done but you didn't even put in the pot and you were living life recklessly. And now I feel they'd be like, OK, well, since this like we ain't going to go here, here's some pills to help you live a little longer. You know, we ain't going to do no you 65, 70. We're not going to do a million, 200 million um, surgery on your ass that you can't even pay that. We ain't even going to get a portion of that shit. And I'm saying we as me, I'm talking as if I'm the hospital and the doctors. And then all of a sudden you want these things done. It doesn't happen then. So I'm thinking like, is all this in the formula of health care? Is it because majority of black and Latino, I'm not saying other cultures don't, but we are of a high percentage here that smoke, drink, do drugs, eat unhealthy, blah, 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 live unhealthily, live recklessly. And then when we get sick or something, we want the best care ever, even though we're doing it and may not have even paid into it or been on Medicaid or Social Security and want